So what are we checking out today? So today we're going to be checking out a group of urban explorers out of Russia. I've dubbed the Toxic Avengers. These guys like to go scuba diving inside of abandoned buildings, supposedly. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I know that they do this at this place, and I've seen another video of theirs where they're scuba diving. So this is kind of the first scuba diving urbex team I've ever come across. They're yeah. pretty funny. Yeah. This video, I've, I've checked out a couple of pieces of it. It's actually pretty insane, some of the stuff that they do inside of here. Um, they're, they're getting ready right now to go inside of this first building. This is, a, this is a substation of the major plant that had blown up there in Pripyat, the 1986, I believe it was, the explosion that happened there. And yeah. all the radiation got out and got contaminated and everybody had to flee Chernobyl. And now everybody's going back there to urban explore and stuff like that so we had we do know a couple of people that have been here so it is it is a pretty cool place but isn't there like live like isn't it actually radioactive like well, at the moment or there is a half-life toward okay. to like the radiation so I, I i'm not exactly sure what it is so there's a half-life to it i think 10 years or something like that it cuts down in half and then another 10 years it cuts down in half and a half of that a half of that a half of that i believe that that's the way it goes i'm not exactly sure i'm sure somebody will correct me on that i'm not exactly sure what the half-life on radiation is i have not put myself inside radioactive situations so i actually do not know what the what the um what the results are of, of our radiation exposure or anything yeah. like that. But before we'll probably talk about this going forward, we're going to get right into this video right now and see where these guys are outside of the first power unit here. We're going to the first power unit. It was under construction. It's over there. And super suits want to swim. In theory, we can get to the fourth unit through those fluid tunnels. And it looks just like a regular suits. industrial, like abandoned building. The most secret it is definitely no looking been. like a decommissioned um, Let's go. power plant at this point. Yeah. It definitely looks like it has been Let's take demolition a look at the to a degree. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at it, Max. Oh my, it's huge. Look at its wheels. It looks like it was actually being built. Yeah, as, right. As the this crane. disaster happened, it looks like it might have been being built. But it definitely looks like it was demolished in this area right here. Yeah. I'm scared already. Yeah, that's sketchy. <laughs> I would be scared just rolling up onto the property. See? Yeah. This ain't easy. It's bad, I see. It's not even a ladder. It's, it's all shaking, rebar. dude. Let's see it. It's just see, rebar I'm well built afraid. together. Yeah, they kind of like made like a makeshift ladder. Well, they didn't make it. Somebody no, somebody, made somebody, it. somebody did, yeah. After this tree, sure, Alex, you won't be afraid of anything. What you had. Yeah, yeah. that rebar was robot, used guys. for the concrete. It was probably assembled and they never got the There's a Soviet together. robot. Yeah. Look at these springs. Oh my gosh. Guys, that is mad. Zeus, what are you doing? It's crazy. Uh-uh. It's darkness below. It's I would be so afraid to walk against that, like walk across that. Yeah, I would not want to walk across that at all. You see those boards, they're kind of like V'd in. I would be so afraid of them just collapsing right inside yeah. of there like that. And it's so easy, but it's so funny. They're not cracked. You could see that right there at yeah. that board. It's not cracked. It's just really, really warped. So they've been getting wet and they've just been sagging in like a V shape, which is very weird because usually it's like bowed. Mm -hmm. and they come down at a V. It's yeah. pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy that they're walking on there right there. Well, 15 meters, guys. Let's go, Alex. Wow. You can see the sag. Slowly. In that. Go there. Yeah. They're going. They're shaking hard. I like the gas mask. Yeah. That's a good shot right there. That's yeah, a that's a good, good picture for I sure. Like the greens down there. You can see the bottom there. Mm -hmm. so whoever took this shot is actually a pretty good photographer. He had a pretty good flash or has a pretty good camera, but they, they picked this area pretty good. I really like that shot right there. That's good. I like the rust and the greens and things like that, but yeah, you can actually see how uh, demented that wood is right there. Pretty crazy. Yeah. Pretty crazy. I'm actually very surprised that none of them fell. You can see that cracked board right there, the green one leaning right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that one casual. definitely broke. Yeah, that was the casualty right there. <laughs> crazy. Probably. Absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh, it was cut off by someone. Looks like a bank vault. Someone came here, closed the door, and called the other side. 
and they let him in. Some kind of airlock. That looks scary. Guys. All that dust inside of there. Mm -hmm. what, what All that room? dust. I wonder. So that room right there, I, I believe it was some sort of pressure chamber, you know? But yeah. um, the only the only thing that I'm really seeing inside of this guy's shot right now is all that dust particle, the mesothelioma <laughs> cancer particles that are just floating around. And the reason why we wear dust, I mean, dust masks inside of some of these places, most of these places that we go inside of is because they're completely dusty. Yeah. And you see that stuff inside of your, uh, of your flashlight there when you're inside of there. Whenever I see that inside of my flashlight it always terrifies me it's the scariest thing inside of an abandoned building is that dust there's nothing else scarier than that dust inside of an abandoned building yeah it's not it's not good for your health <laughs> so yeah. this yeah. is some sort of pressure chamber we've been inside a few of these this yeah. is like the center basically of, of of the power station right there i'm not exactly sure if it is a called a pressure chamber or something like that there's two locking doors two big vault doors not exactly sure what they do inside of there like i said i don't i'm not too versed on on non-abandoned power plants so i don't know what they yeah. do when they're working i just know that they look cool when they're shut down and i could go walk through them at that point so that's the only chance i've ever had is to walk through decommissioned and abandoned power plants so i never learned so, sorry <laughs> and why calling yeah there's a phone over there what was the guard in here let's go and see there's a chain here i can't imagine how heavy was this door that looks weird it took them a really long time to cut it off and that five tones door smashed loudly then. Anyway, this door was stolen, and the phone too. <laughs> it's not stolen. There's a bomb here. Stole that door. What is that? What do you mean? There's a second door lying here. So they haven't stolen the second door. And there are four bearings here around wow. this doorway. Yeah. What do you think they kept here behind this heavy door, guys? Money? Do you think money? Yeah, cash. All cash of USSR. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But yeah. what really was there? Yeah, it's all contaminated and they're poor. <laughs> Can I go there? Look at this awesome bearings. It's pretty cool. It still spins. Yeah, it like spins pretty smooth. Oh my too. gosh. Yeah. It is around. It's the integrity of old. <laughs> what is this top protection for? Look here, guys. So. They were speaking before we go into the next part over here. They were speaking about those doors possibly being stolen. I could tell you that those doors, I think they said that they were like five tons or something like that. I believe they're like two and a half tons, as I've seen some two and a half ton doors in a lot of these places. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they said they were five tons. Now, there's no way that you're even carrying one of those doors out with a, with a 10, 20 man team. It's just too hard to get that out of there. They needed a crane. So, what I'm thinking is that this place at a certain point in time, had been decommissioned they stripped it out of yeah. all usable parts and everything like that doors big expensive stuff probably came in there with a crane as you saw on the outside i'm not exactly sure if that crane was there left there after it was abandoned while yeah. they were building it i think that this place was being built i think you mentioned something about this place being built at the time of the disaster so I'm not exactly sure if they got to use this facility, if it was shut down and decommissioned and stripped out or what. Wow. But uh, they talk a lot about scrappers and thieves inside of here. It doesn't really look like this place um, w was completed when yeah. when everything happened. You saying something? No. Oh, all right. Nice. My flashlight can't even reach the end of this room. This corridor is so long. I thought that was a picture at first. The scratch an emblem everywhere. A lighting, <laughs> which means high voltage. All that dust. Crazy Just dust. How much I know, that's a lot. Oh, a socket. At 220 volts. If there was copper inside of there, that's what the, the people have stripped out. Because that's usually left inside of there. You usually can't take those components with them. They yeah. usually don't work properly after you start stripping them out. That was probably left there. And that was scrappers that stripped that out, for sure. Yeah. That... That's the same in any power plant, any place with any kind of copper inside of it. The scrappers will find that copper and they will strip that out. They love oh, copper. Yeah. Guys, transformer, junction box, K60. This wasn't finished, guys. This transformer room is just endless. All the insides are taken apart and stolen. Just look at it. That futuristic cylinder again. It's <laughs> oxygen. Entry is prohibited. Are we going to stop here? No, look at this. 
These bolts wow. and hinges are just enormous. That is pretty huge, them. yeah. They are radioactive. <laughs> oh my god, this door is so radioactive. Thick. Is it full metal? <laughs> yeah. So it really could stand a nuclear explosion then. 2150 kilograms, one door. Holy moly, it's 1982. I don't believe it weighs so much. I thought it was 800 kilograms, or maybe one ton, but it is two tons and a half. There are drones and hints not to get lost. Two and a half ton door. But I think we are lost already. Just smell the radiation and follow it. Follow the radiation way. If you try it, you will not be able to live without radiation. You're gonna search for the most contaminated places. <laughs> I hope we will not yeah, be lost. They're going for the most contaminated place. So. Hey Dima, where are we going now? I don't know, I'm new here, just hired. I need to learn the map and so on. Show us your working outfit. There it is. Look at it, guys. Navar that's a very cool little piece that he's got there. He's got the jacket. So that's yeah, cool. he's got that, that jacket is... there. So that's that's pretty cool. Even though it's probably filled with <laughs> radiation, if, if if that was a building that was covered in radiation, which it probably was, that that jacket has radiation on it. So that's pretty crazy. I'm yeah. sure it doesn't have radiation. It has it has bad dust on it though. I would definitely give it a good cleaning. I might even For put sure. it behind, I might even put it behind some steel, <laughs> uh, like reinforced uh, caging or something like that. Yeah. But, door to my house i don't know i don't know what that would have on it it's pretty crazy though. it's good good find it's a good find i don't know i don't know if too many people are pulling things like that out of chernobyl if anybody found that i wouldn't i wouldn't blame them for taking that because somebody's going to take it i Mark, wonder if it chernobyl. has like the um i wonder if it has like the stuff that you know how the doctors put the x-ray like thing on you yeah I oh like a jacket like Ke kevlar inside of yeah, it yeah like whatever they put inside of those like x-ray things that they lay on you like at the dentist and stuff i wonder uh, if this i don't think it would have kevlar in inside of it yeah. i don't think i don't think back in those days they even really thought to, thought about to do it. something like that but yeah. i mean i'm sure that they had those x-ray vests but i mean it's it's a pretty good thought it might have kevlar if anybody does know that's watching this video you can always tell us in the comments what's going on but i, I still think that that's a cool jacket that's like yeah. a one-of-a-kind little vintage piece right there for sure. Do you know what is that, Max? I have no idea. This is a drum separator. It separated steam from water. Do you like the hole? Oh my gosh, what a hole! Oh my god, it's fluted here. <laughs> there are so many of them. Yeah, you gotta watch your step in places like this. Yeah, we're yeah. holes. Look at these pipes below. The holes. It's grand, such power. Yeah. It's like raining dust inside of that. It's crazy. Just look well, at it. Guys. It might have been those drops that I saw. Here we are. There's a cross. So. And the nuclear reactor you can see was that dust to right stay there. here. Crazy. Yeah. You know, I'm being a bitch and just saying dust, dust, dust. dust. We should move carefully. It's just something that stands out in the camera. There was some stainless so steel here. It all was taken away. So be wary. This looks like a cooling system. And these panels are heat insulation. So there was a nuclear reactor right in the middle. There was supposed, I mean, it was supposed to, to stand here, yeah. but it was never installed. Holy Chernobyl, I almost fell down. And there would be there. a lot more stuff there if that was there. It is yeah. really high. I think it's nine floors high or something. That was a bad. Nice echo, isn't so it? It does look like this place was not finished. Maybe stalkers live there. Yeah. There's a tablet. Let's see what's in there. What? Tablet. A tablet? A tablet. What is there? Like a notebook. It's a seat. Oh, <laughs> really? A tablet from 1987. <laughs> nice joke, man. There are some bottles. Maybe there is some alcohol. Maybe. Was it vodka or milk? That is kefir or milk. There is a label here. Let's see. Is it Ukrainian? That's from Lugansk. But what is that? It's mineral water, Alex. Uh huh. It's like it's into key oh. number four. It's like Here water bottles and glass, like water that. and glass bottles. Yeah. Oh nice my! It's little twenty-four. I really like its smell. Vintage it's very glass. cool. It, it's kind of. I think that is for bunkers and military vehicles. This smells awesome. There you go. He's gonna Better say than it. Chanel. He's putting it in his pocket. He's going to infiltrate the force power unit. Make himself a little bit of money on that. This fifth one. We have just been. We're close. Yes, cable collector. So right here, this is very, very familiar to us right here. Yeah. I'll blow us up for this because we'll talk about this a little area right here. I love these tunnels right here. And any abandoned building, um, abandoned campus or something like that. Asylums. They're asylum, big in hospitals asylum. especially. Yeah. They will always have these sorts of tunnels. I love walking around these tunnels. There's secret little passageways that lead you to gymnasiums, theaters, power plants, little pieces of hospitals. <clears throat> 
different rooms and things like that inside of these places what you do is you walk around inside of like a sewer system basically with pipes and all kinds of stuff it's really hot down there too when especially when it's like kind of an active place that yeah. you're walking through um when you're down there you're popping up through all these manholes basically and you could pop up like backstage inside of a uh in, inside of a theater or inside of a gymnasium somewhere or something like that it's 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 a really cool little piece of some of these explorers that we've been on and 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 it's one of the reasons why i like going to asylums and hospitals and yeah. things like that is because you wind up in some of these places and until i started exploring i never knew that there were cool little passageways and 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 catacombs and things like that that they had going on down there so what do you think about them you've been down there a couple. yeah well so they're they're definitely good to utilize when you're in an abandoned place or like a, an abandoned campus like the asylums because it just brings you to the different buildings i remember i forget exactly which spot it was but i remember we were in one of the tunnels and the the roaches that were inside of this tunnel they were everywhere on the walls and yeah. i was like freaking out because i didn't want to step on them um so like there's some good and bad parts of it but but it's cool i mean it's it's basically the way that all the workers would use you know they wouldn't walk up outside and you know through the parking lots and things like that they would use these underground tunnels to access all the buildings and like the maintenance workers and those sort of things so it's kind of cool to go down there it's something that you know if you're going into one of these places that's the last place you're ever going to see so just getting the experience of walking through it is cool you know so it is very yeah. cool like i said and it's also a good escape route so if somebody's like yeah. on the property that you need to get away from nine times out of ten they don't even know yeah. that there's tunnels underneath them. So once you make it to one building, in, in a lot of cases, you can literally just, get around entire campuses without anybody seeing you while you're inside of these places. If you look back at our videos, I'm sure you'll see a bunch of tunnel explorations inside of some of these places. Very, very cool. Just wanted to point that out while they were sitting inside of there that one of my favorite things are just the tunnels. crawling through the tunnels <laughs> and things like that. And, and it's funny because we have a friend that's a cop that was at one of these campuses and they they did, did police work and things like that. And I had explored the place that he was at one of the campuses and it's in Queens, New York. So if anybody knows, you kind of know what this campus is. But anyhow, he used to tell me that they used to go down there and shoot rats. And had I ever been down there? I'm like, yeah, um, I walked around all over there. He's like, yeah, you walked around there? That's really cool. I'm like, yeah, you went and shot rats down there? That's fucking crazy. What the heck? Like, looking at, dude. But yeah, just a little side story to just say, uh, a civilian so to speak that was um you know shooting rats down in one of these tunnels here maybe it's the right way we can go there easily there's a soft floor here max sure i think it was damaged with radiation some people dream of warm floor but we've got soft what is that there's another one. Oh, another pass here it is right behind this wall it isn't that long by the way maybe we're close it looks like they removed a lot of the pipes there yeah usually it's stacked with pipes on top of each other I think go to different find it areas there. we aren't here yet what is that that is a riddle what some letters it's a riddle and there's another one yeah looks like a sudoku puzzle the goes that, that's oh the map gosh. to get through the tunnel there's right water there. here we're gonna use the suits alex the tunnel isn't over yet. I never knew that there are catacombs here. Marit is getting flooded here. What is there? I don't know. What is this pipe? It's parallel here. It is blocked. Oh my gosh. Oh no. This wall is new. Yeah, it prevents anyone going to the first power unit. It's pretty much what I thought was going to happen. Right? If we should break yeah. this wall. Usually that Maybe happens Sus in a lot can of do it. that we explore. Come on, Sus. <laughs> we have to find a bypass. Yeah. We have found one tunnel, but it's looted. We have to go. We have no other options. Well, we've got Alex, the dungeon expert. No one saying except him will ever climb in such hole. We've got protection suits. We will try to dive through. There's a room up ahead. And in theory, we can get inside of the fourth power unit. Through this corridor. We'll try to see what is there at least. We don't have a diving suit, but I've got a gas mask. <laughs> Guys, do you like our idea? Gas mask instead of a scuba. I don't. I don't oh like my gosh, do you really want to dive there? there? Are they really going to wear a gas mask into the freaking water? Hey, are you going to go already? Pretty sure that's, that's what about the suit? Right here. Let's see. Oh my gosh. 
There's another floor under us. Oh, wow. Look, a fluted floor. What a hell. It goes down like four So five, much four, water here. Maybe six floors That's down. a hell. Like Can you floor really floor dive there? That is too hard, Zeus. That's going to be fun. I'm going to undress and put on the suit. Kashmar. Oh, my gosh. No. So if you hadn't heard what this guy's going to do, he's going to dive under these floors that are flooded out to try to get to... I, I thought he was saying the first power unit. The, the guy yeah. that's, that's doing the, the video here, he's... Like the voiceover? Accent. Yeah, he's got an accent, so I'm not exactly sure what he's saying, if it's the first or the fourth, but he's saying he's going to the fourth. I can clearly hear that he said the fourth unit. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm not exactly sure. What, it doesn't even matter because I don't even think they're really in Chernobyl right now. I think that they might be staging this video to a degree. I don't, I don't I'm not exactly sure about this, okay? But anybody could have gone to an abandoned building and said that it was Chernobyl. I would do it if I was Russian and found myself with easy access to the Ukraine like that. So maybe I might find myself doing that. But anyhow, they're in Chernobyl, Chernobyl. And uh, there he's about to dive under this floor. He's going to try to attempt to dive under this floor and get to the fourth power unit, I guess. I don't, I'm not exactly sure. I got to look at a map of this place. I'm not exactly sure what the layout is of this place. I think they're in some sort of a substation here. But regardless, this guy's about to take a gas mask and go diving. No one has ever done that in his own, guys. This city needs a new hero. City needs a new hero. Yeah, yeah. Are you scared of yet? Truly is scared. Fresh out of here. Get some radiation. But like, I have a question be though, because well, guys, we're gonna put if they were camera. in the tunnels, if they were in the tunnels and that wasn't flooded, and now they're in this stairwell that's flooded, like what, I would think that the tunnel would be the lowest point. Like it's kind of crazy that they have more stairs going down. It is. It is actually a pretty good question that they're in those tunnels. Usually, those tunnels are would be the first the, to flood. Are the lowest point right there? But I mean, obviously not, right? Unless, well, unless this not. is just a building that's getting water inside of it, a, a, a piece of the building that's getting water oh, inside maybe. of it, and the tunnels. Yeah are blocked off in some way. I mean, they're obviously blocked off with a brick wall, but I don't see that stopping this water from getting no. inside of there. Um, they might not be attached to the same tunnel. Like section of the I don't building. Know how, I don't know how they got over here. They did yeah. not go it, around in the tunnels yeah. to get to this point. They went back through another building, and I believe that they went downstairs to where it was flooded to this point that they're at right now. Okay. And they're attempting to dive underneath to where it was not flooded i i'm, I'm assuming this on that and that these guys are nuts so there's yeah. no rhyme or reason towards what they're doing here they're just going diving at this point in an abandoned building in an so abandoned that's, building that's the interesting part of what's going on here yeah. i don't care where they are how they got there i just want to see this guy go into radiated water water is really cold sus it's crazy there's something moving underwater what An what alien. is that Oh my An gosh. Alien bug. A radiated alien that bug. That is a mutant. There you go. Yeah, mutant. Chernobyl. It's okay. A Chernobyl mutant. That's wild. And he's going to go Super in that suits water. Is almost ready. All right. He's got waders uh, on. Are really naked super suits? Sure. That's a diving That's suit hot. if I've ever seen one. What about is underwear? Is for real right now? Putting the mask on. He's going to go waiting. Hey, Max, are you going there? I don't know. I'm not going. So he's not I diving. He's going to go waiting. Okay. He's going to walk around How's the water. water. I see. Does it get inside of his suit? Not yet. Till I'm half in water. What is over there, Sus? Some tunnels. Is there a turn to the right? Yeah. Is it far? There's a bunch of tunnels in all directions. Oh my gosh. Give me a camera. It's not going to get wet right now. So well, friends, I'm going to go there first. Right now. I'm not exactly Damn, sure how, how, what kind of radioactive Just move slowly. the suit has to. There's another intact wall door. I, do, I don't think this well, is okay radioactive here so water far. right now. Some corridors. Oh my. You get some cool shots inside. What is there? there? Sure. The tunnel split. It is minus three Celsius here. There are more doors here. Oh my gosh. Maybe that was an accounting office. What have we got here? Accounting office. Another integral door. There are some rooms, maybe for keeping organs. 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 They're searching for the They're tunnel to reach body the parts. Power Yeah, like, what does that have to do with <laughs> To it's can't know where right it is. There. It is a secret. There are doors, tunnels, and so on everywhere. 
you could see the like the rust line, and like the right water line on the water. walls too. Yeah. So it's been flooding what am I like doing this for, for a YouTube, while. Guys? Oh, this gas mask won't protect you from water sus. All right. It's not insulated. No, he is That's not hell, about guys. to do this. Here he's go. Yeah, he's going in. Hard. So what sus? A little bit cold. Yeah. Do you see anything? Nothing at all. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. guys, he's oh, doing no. that. Oh. See, that's crazy. Oh. That's a hell. Crazy. What's up? So, I don't even okay? know why I use the gas mask. I don't know where, Is it water? where the gas mask was. It probably locked the water inside hey, there even more. That's that crazy. was a bad idea. About that's that was a very bad idea. Disgusting. Not... See, like, <laughs> I can only. I can only imagine the smell, and then there's just the dust and all the shit that sits inside of that water and everything. The oh water looks pretty God. clear. I will give it that. Like you could see inside of that water, which is pretty surprising, being that it's just an abandoned building's water. There must not be that much shit floating around inside of there. I'm not yeah. exactly sure, but yeah, that is crazy. That's nuts. Like I would never, ever, ever dunk my face inside of there. He's got a gas mask on. Like it's not helping him breathe. It's just trapping the water inside of there. So he's just sitting there with shitty water inside of his face it's absolutely insane what this guy's doing right now this is why they are the toxic avengers right here this, <laughs> this is the wildest airbex team i've ever encountered on youtube or anywhere in my life that, I I yeah. the Airbenders, these <laughs> guys take the cake these guys are crazy this guy this is super Seuss right here everybody this is super Seuss. he puts he puts it on the line for for urbex and dive videos and all kinds of stuff like that I, I i'd suggest that you go check this guy out if you if you want somebody that's doing some crazy stupid shit this guy is your guy right here he's probably got a whole youtube channel filled with shit that you're gonna love all the gas yeah. mask was choking what the hell that was hard guys don't ever try this please no matter how clear that water yeah, is i would not want any don't of it touching to any part of me well, He's going oh my into it. God. I mean, that's a perfect spot to to pause it right there because you could see he just dunked oh. his whole body inside of there. Okay, oh now they're going God. under here with the preface that it's radioactive. Now I don't care if I knew, didn't know, or anything like that. If I'm in Chernobyl, I'm not fucking with the water. I don't even really want to fuck with the air because you saw what's inside of the air. I wouldn't really want to be outside and in the forest or anything around there because I don't know what's floating around inside there. I would need a geiger counter and once the thing yeah. started beeping i would be heading out of whatever area it was beeping in as quickly as possible there's no footage there's no youtube video there's no nothing that can make me want to grow a dick on my forehead i swear <laughs> to god this guy is going to have a cock and balls growing out of his head tomorrow oh, like, it's just crazy he's he, he dove inside of this it's crazy that is disgusting and the, the sick part about it is that those waders, right? That's not a wetsuit. Those are no, waders. it's so yeah, it's for like fishermen. Let's go through his chest right here. Okay. So he's in that water right now, and all that water just dumped right inside of there. So outside of the fact that he's got water filled up inside of there. Now, whatever it is, radiated water, rusty water, dusty water, whatever you want to say. Now he's being weighed down, right? Now, if he gets sucked down, right? Are these guys going inside of there for him? They're not going to probably go not. <laughs> right. So he just drowned inside of there. His waiters just weighed him right down. So, I mean, he, you can get out of them, but I've seen some people get stuck in some waiters and, and, and it's, and it's pretty hard to get out of when you're sitting inside of there, you're panicking underneath the water and stuff. Crazy, man. These guys That's are nuts. wild life and limb. <laughs> He's diving guys. Oh no. Oh my God. I don't see anything. It's too muddy. That's a hell, guys. And muddy. he goes again. Zeus is swimming. Yeah. Another time. Where? <laughs> where, is he? where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? Water is ice cold. We need a scuba gear. Yeah, yeah right. I tell you so. I didn't see anything. Water is too dirty. How many floors are below? Two floors at least. Is there a way to the power unit? That remains unknown. Oh my gosh. Uh, what is that, Zeus? So you're all wet. Mm. That suit didn't help at all. No, no. It is no. warmer in it. Are you more wet? Boots are heavy, about 10 kilograms each. Cut the water on you. 10 liters of water. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my. Oh my gosh. gosh. That whole it is your turn, Max. Filled up and just sucked him right down to the bottom. And, no and now there. he's wet, and then yeah. he's just so gonna have dust sticking to him. Oh, forget it. Walk out. Uh, you know that's drown there. But what's on Guys, him right he now? Guys, he was wearing socks. 
in the radioactive basement. Tux. Oh my gosh. He's what a hell of a We just heard a noise resemble a train. Heard that? Right, another out. The hell was there? Look. The security. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Film them. Oh, yeah. There's two guys walking. So they have security guards right there on property. That I, so I guess they're done diving for the day. And uh, now there's security guards there on property. They look like um, they look like they were in army uniforms. I'm not sure if the military guards Chernobyl, like the like the military uh -huh. police or something like that, guard Chernobyl. But those guys were definitely in military uniforms. That's pretty crazy. If you're like in Chernobyl and you're not supposed to be in that part of the zone, and like these, I dudes would be so scared. You, you could just shoot you right there, dead. <laughs> like right there. I would not. I would not want to fuck with that at all. Oh my god. Especially, I mean, they're from around that way, but I mean. You know, being American, you kind of don't want to fuck around over there. But yeah, yeah, that's crazy. You just see two military guys just walking through the woods, and these dudes are just hiding from. So let's see what goes on right here. They get shot or something. I mean, he has a bright blue jacket on. No, oh, they're very, very visible. I mean, they they were right there, right in the wide open. I can't, I can't believe they didn't see them in the first place. Let's see what happens here. Use iPhone. Come on. Left. Good thing they didn't see us. We were almost busted. We can hear them now. <laughs> Damn it, that's hard. <laughs> that isn't expected. Max is filming them. I wouldn't take a risk. They just didn't see us. Go follow them. We were talking full voice. And then we saw them walking along with there. Two men, armed. Are them from Walker? Yeah, that's crazy. They ought to be. Wow. That was the armed security of the zone. How didn't they see us? We were talking normally. And then who said, guys? I see two guards men in front of us. What the heck? They didn't see us. They were like walking nice and easy. And didn't expect anyone hiding there. The smoke then the happened joint. the thing we couldn't expect. Up. Come on, you know us. Oh. Yeah, Dima, we all know Wait. each other. When we were back to our shelter, there you we go. things. What just happened? They just went into a building that like they're there? It looks like there's military there. So something happened that they could not expect they got surprised or something like that he said so let's see it's it's an army guys so those those are the guys that just walked past him i think there was police waiting for us we need documents let's have a drink maybe dima just realized who we're talking to turn the camera off dima so well we are busted friends what does this say? It says, I'm going to lower us down here. We were taken to the local police station and I thought we were going to be punished hard for everything, but it didn't happen. Police checked our passports and then we haven't taken anything from the zone. Then we signed the protocol and were let free and wished us not to be caught and not make so much noise. <laughs> and the main thing, how much we've paid, nothing. I was given a verbal warning. That's it. Okay. So did they not care whether or not they do it again and just don't want them to be caught or make so much noise next time because they were just talking casually and making a lot of noise or it looked like they had a camp in one of the apartment buildings or something like that inside of there. They had blankets set up inside of there and and, and coffee cups and all kinds of stuff. I don't know if yeah. that was a place that was just left behind like that and like they were hanging out. Inside. They obviously entered that place and those those military people saw who uh, that they were staying there and waited for them there so i wonder what the hell was going on there like that's pretty crazy that they go back to their base camp i guess that's what that was and there's military waiting for them how much noise were you making like what, what kind of like because there's so many different places that you could hang out inside of that yeah but you know like when you're in those places the littlest noise echo it's all hollow you're in a concrete building so like those guys probably heard them banging the ladder around yeah, oh, and like they were making, making noise and stuff so they probably heard it from afar started walking down the street and then like came upon their stuff inside of this room or wherever the hell they yeah. put their stuff so yeah they probably left something outside or something like that yeah just, and these guys are probably there like every single single day they know exactly what everything right. is supposed to be looking like and if they're right. in a zone that's supposed to not be getting touched or not be getting entered or something like that then yeah they're probably very very familiar and these guys are probably just pretty careless and probably left something out in the open or something on or something like that but yeah they, they had they had a little camp set up there in chernobyl so they could go exploring and scuba diving inside of that abandoned building so that's pretty crazy 
that's that's actually pretty crazy. I wonder what the protocol is. The protocol must be like a ticket or something like that. It must be like you you're, a warning, you got a little probably, warning, yeah, yeah. Like a warning. Yeah. Yeah. It's more than like I mean, they didn't have to pay anything. They didn't get arrested. They didn't like anything bad. So it's like okay, you get out of here, cool. which is when usually what happens. If the military busts you and they don't break your balls like that, that's pretty cool, I guess. You know, yeah. I mean, the cops around here are real dicks. You know, I'd be, I'd probably yeah, it's be different out there. I would probably be in jail right now, <laughs> and I would probably be getting accused of conspiracy to sink a power plant. Do you think that that would happen? <laughs> probably I, in the United you, States, especially you, in Bergen County. <laughs> you have been accused of a nuclear disaster. This oh, place could you was imagine? perfect before you got here, and you. It created a Destroyed nuclear it. disaster at Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's that it's would be my luck. Likely, yeah. <laughs> that would more than likely be my luck. Is that I would get caused for the disaster, uh, blame for the disaster I caused at Chernobyl. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right, but I so, mean, at least I didn't get nothing, nothing too bad there. So we're we're gonna continue into this little video that we have here because there's still a lot left. We were busted just because we were too loud. We didn't expect there were some patrols nearby. And they just heard us. When we were back, there were about 15 police officers. We didn't have chances to escape. And we had to surrender and sign the protocol. Surrender? There is a 30 bucks fine. No, it's about 15 bucks. That isn't the real fine. A $15 but we're thinking fine. About going well, they said that they didn't have to pay right anything, now. but they paid a $15 Do you really mean that? fine. Yeah, we don't have to go back in. Yeah, we're almost there. Maybe you better wait, guys. Oh, oh. What? We're moving smoothly. The war is so big. The boat needs to be leveled. Okay, so they right. so they came back here with a, another form of so transportation. What happens here in this next video? Because, like I said, I've I've clipped through a couple of their videos and things like that. So this is their next exploration here in Chernobyl. Okay. Now they've actually come prepared for the water this time it's they brought years <laughs> the explorer 300 i believe it was this is i dubbed this the max powers special inflatable raft because every time i see this raft and i've seen it at least 500 times since i've seen max powers use it i think of max powers and that bank that we're in every time i see yeah. water like this i think of that bank that we were in in chicago and we're going around floating around inside of that bank ball and i'm just waiting for this thing to pop because it's just the shittiest raft you could ever <laughs> buy out of a dick sporting goods or a models or something like that this isn't anything from rei some real explorer place or anything like that so yeah they are now inside of the flooded tunnels that super sus was just inside of in his waiting suit with a couple more guys and two or three rafts now so we're gonna see how they do with this because like i said i clipped through this i didn't really i wanted to kind of keep it fresh but i also wanted to kind of figure out what was going on here after i was sent this video so yeah so now they're on the rafts and we're going to see whether or not they make it down to the other power unit i feel like this is a bad idea <laughs> it's, it's a bad idea all around and that's why i make sure an absolutely terrific youtube video right oh uh, yeah bad ideas are great youtube videos that's yeah that goes that's true. Yeah, the tunnels go in different directions. Wow, this is some kind of a system. We are in a labyrinth. This is amazing. There is a huge underground labyrinth here. <laughs> we are in the right address. <laughs> this is what we need. He's a little bit too excited over the power plug. Wow, it's a cool power. maze. There was no one here before us. Whoever we ask, no one knows what awaits us here. How are we going to navigate? Where are we going? Right or left? Let's go straight to the end first. Let's find out what is there. The current is already taking us somewhere. Look over there. <laughs> Guys, how are we doing there at the back? The boat seems to be deflating. Uh, uh, the place from it's leaking. I will give you a tape to stick it over there. Well, you also have a hole in the boat. Wow. Where? already <laughs> uh, i mean it's not that hard so <laughs> will give you the tape king stick it now all over well yeah there's like so a bunch of pointy stuff that is not no, he do didn't. anything so take it they should have had like the can of like flex seal it's in the water and they're gonna yeah no 
that it's is absolutely work. crazy that 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 raft looks the the green one that they're on right there it looks like it's about a thousand years old it looks it's like it's janky it looks like, it looks like it's all rusted out in, in and of itself like i can't believe that they just didn't like spring for a brand new raft just for this expedition but i mean i guess they knew that they were going to get a hole in it right so i hope sus brought his uh waiters this time because he's going to definitely need them he's going to be walking yeah. around Repair tape, which is waterproof. Let's see if it helps us. It's not sticking under the water. Yeah, duct tape, dude. <laughs> need no, it's not. Tape. We need to dry uh, the boat and then stick it. We'll need to pump up the boat. You too. Keep an eye on the boat. It wouldn't work if you dried it off. It just immediately well, gets wet. Where to attach it? Just fix it at the back of the boat. Okay, let's attach it over there. I can't believe there is another floor downstairs. I wonder what's there. All that metal just sitting out there. I hope this I expedition will end normally for us. I because would never want to get wet down there. And we are all stressed. I'm very nervous, but I think we'll find something interesting in this tunnel. Are you ready to drown if something goes wrong? No. Are you ready to drown? Can you connect the air pump so that I can pump up the boat? <laughs> the question is, yeah, are you ready to swim? With the nozzle side. Are yes, you ready to give up and die? The bed. <laughs> You're right. Unplug it in. Are you ready to pump it up? At least come on, do it. Pumps with I'm ready. Carefully, the chip can come out. Everything looks good. I'm going. Look, there is a metal road oh, right in the center ready? of the tunnel. Yeah, like, look at this thing. But he's getting geared up right now. It's really hindering us. Now, Sus will try to push our boat through it. Oh, oh my god. You brought his waders. You know that we took some chemical protection suit. Oh, so all right. So there's not, the it's not middle, like the, the water is what, two feet, two, three feet? Yeah, I mean, you got about yeah. three feet there, maybe all three right. and a half feet right there. Sus yeah. is pretty short, so it might be about three feet. But yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it's, I mean it's not they, like they're not going to die. They're going to get wet. You're going to walk <laughs> out. I mean, when they're saying, are you ready to drown? You're not going to drown unless somebody knocks you out over the head and leaves you for dead in the water. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, walking out of there would definitely suck. Who knows how cold that water is? You know what I mean? And who knows yeah. what's in that water? Who knows Who knows what is in that water right there? I mean, we just saw mutants and things like that in the last video, in the last case. <laughs> so, I mean, what's in that water? I wouldn't want to go in, in there just based upon that thing that was inside of there. Imagine yeah. that crawling up into you. No. Oh, You're my so God. Dead. Absolutely Imagine you, like, not. turned into that. You got home, and then you turned Could into you that. Could you imagine? Thing. Or like it was, like, hole. stuck in your clothes in his waiter. and like I'm writing a bag. whole movie on this super sus experience right here. <laughs> he's going to turn into a mutant. Well, he is the Toxic Avenger already, so he's already turned. But he's going to turn into a, an incredibly super, super strong super. urban explorer <laughs> once he gets that mutant inside of him. Crazy. He won't even need a, a scuba diving suit. He'll just be able to just dive right underwater once he gets bit by that mutant. <laughs> And I'll be able That's to get it. all his friends to the super secret power Superpowers. <laughs> Try to shake it. I pulled it out. I can't. Is it firmly placed? Yes. Let me go and see what's there. No need. There will be another turn. Well, there was a man painted on the wall. A man? Yes. <laughs> Come on, try to lift it up a bit. No, I can't. They're all in the water. Guys, you're first now. No, I yes. don't think so. I should have all just brought waders and just walked through it. I, I wouldn't have brought the raft. They just what are you doing? They have waders. It's <laughs> happening. Where's the boat? Stop. Down the boat is better. Oh my gosh. Accident. Accident, guys. Oh, so I try to paste over the tape. You're right. Why the hell did they hand it there? I don't know. The boat is hissing, it's deflating. <laughs> Our boat is fine. Come on, stick it. It doesn't stick at all. Do you know what I suggest? Hold it with finger. Let's change places with one of you. Someone will close it with a finger and someone will sometimes pump up the boat. Yeah, sounds good. Let me see the air alone. Is it deflating? It's not going to work. <laughs> we're trying to cover it with finger. My ass is already wet. Guys, now we're going to assemble the scuba gear because it won't work out this way. Right. Oh, so that's the staircase that they were in the yeah. in the earlier clips. Okay. So now they got back to that labyrinth that they were in on the other side where it was flooded yeah. out. Yeah. and they got inside of there it's either that or they went to this spot with the rafts and just started paddling going around, around in that area, of that area yeah. right there, 
to get through. And that's pretty much what I think had happened at that point. Yeah, that makes sense. Where they had originally been diving, pumped up their rafts, got inside of there and saw if they can make yeah. their way through there. But that's just a floor, just dead end. So you got to go all the way down and there's probably another uh, tunnel system that's down at the bottom. I would I would suspect that there's another tunnel system that's down then. You raised a very good point that's very much confusing me as to why that other tunnel system was not was flooded. flooded. Yeah. It should be lower than where this building goes to. So it's it's very it's very sus to me right now. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this building that's going on right here, but they apparently made their way into here and and made an attempt to uh to, to to take rafts into that floor there i don't know what they were trying to get out of it because they got to go down they're attempting to go down so right this is where the dive begins any deal we need to go lower now we'll assemble our homemade scuba gear from an aquarium to dive into homemade minus six floor. diy <laughs> god <laughs> We Rodin looked around the basement and understood that this point is the most suitable one for us. You see, the steps go down one more floor. It's the only one you've got. That's the one that you were at before. The Soviet time made of heavy duty to the only one that you can get to. <laughs> the pump, I think, we'll use from the boat because it pumps well. Air will be suppled through these holes so the Zeus has something to breathe underwater. Get me. Oh my God. All right. All right. Don't need it in mouth. Unbelievable. Then war in the ass. So, what they're going to do is they're going to take that dome and pump air with the boat pump through that hose into, I guess, into the dome again. And uh, he's going to go and he's going to get air pumped into the dome <laughs> that he's going to be wearing over his head as a scuba <laughs> helmet, I guess. So. This is going to be very interesting. I thought dust mask or, or gas mask was, was bad. Not, right? <laughs> but these guys are stepping it up. I think every he's, time he's they, putting himself in a fishbowl, like and go every, into the water. every time they come here, they come up with a more and more terrible idea to accomplish. <laughs> so I, this is what makes me like these guys even more. Yeah, they're not, they're not actually trying to make it easier for themselves. They're just trying to make it absolutely impossible to do. <laughs> <laughs> So say ready to dive in. Yes, but the water is cold and I'm afraid that I'll freeze there. Alex, will you freeze there? No, everything Dude, will be fine. In the water. Well, I hope so too. I trust you. Let's take the second pump from the boat right away and see if it fits or not. Damn, what's wrong with the pump? I don't know whether it's worth using or not. Well, we'll now check it. Great system. What do you want to do? Fill the holes with air? So someone will pump air to Zeus in the diving suit like that? Of course it's necessary, or else how can he breathe the air? Well, it sounds an insane idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, you are ready. Wow. Wet suit right there. Is it okay that he'll walk barefoot through the radioactive? <laughs> Essentially, his wetsuit now, because he's... He, the, like we said before, the waiters. they're stepping it up, right? So he threw out the waiters, and now he has um, black plastic wrap <laughs> that he's going to be using as his wetsuit. So this should keep him nice and dry and warm. But I don't think so. I don't think that that's no. how plastic wrap works. No, there is nothing to worry. There will be a thick layer of stretch film on his feet so radiation <laughs> won't penetrate. You're right. It's gonna melt the plastic too. Do I wrap my hands as well? That's it, guys. Zeus is dressed up. Dish the camera and he is almost there. ready to dive in. How's the water? They did a good wrap job on him. <laughs> if you notice right here. We didn't think about measuring. He's weighted himself down with, with actual weights. You know, he's like holding the, them. Using the gym. He's got some weights on him. So he's weighting himself down with that. So, you know, it, when you go scuba diving, you have weight belts on you and stuff like that. So you can go down to the bottom easier and swim around. But uh, yeah, so he's going to weigh himself down and float down the stairway now. Bring the radiation here. Walk slowly and go down. See, guys, there are steps to minus one more flow. <laughs> well, now, so squat down a bit. What in the heck? Get a good shot. Get a good shot. How is he gonna? Oh, okay. So the weights are like wrapped around. Because I'm like, how is he supposed to like move his arms? He's holding onto weights. Merge or release the weights. Shoes go very slowly. Take your time. 
walk down slowly. Metal water will get in, don't worry, it's normal. Great, everything works. What? I mean, scientifically, they seem to know what they're doing because the water is not going inside of that. So. Well, yeah. Think of like a gravity bomb, right? We, we think about it in like a works. Come on, with the camera like air pocket. So essentially, what yeah. that moment is, is the air pocket for him right Whoa. now. You need to be very careful. Like crazy. He's completely immersed under the water. Yeah, well, at least so be careful. You're wet. doing well, well give him that comrade. Keep pumping up air. Right right now. The camera must be filming everything. It's waterproof and shoots really well under the water. He needs to go down, though. That's He's not even going to be an amazing like, filling underwater there. It can't be compared to anything. You just need to fill it. Really just standing under the water. While it's interesting state, I can't see anything. Yeah, that's crazy. I feel like I'm in another space. When you want to reach the wall, it seems that it's near, but in fact, you can't reach it because yeah, it's very far away. You reach for it, but it's not there. You can't see anything around. The water is muddy. Do you feel cold? No, I feel fine. Everything okay? Yeah, yes, well, absolutely. Well, I say that everything will be fine, so we can continue. Yeah, Just not enough weight to dive into the bottom. Let's hand the weight on your belt. There are some animals at the bottom. Could you go deeper? <laughs> no, I can't. Is it because of the less weight? Yes. Okay, let's hand the load differently, come out and warm up meanwhile. Seems there like you are in space. Absolutely nothing is clear. You just don't know what to do. Could you see the extension of the tunnel? The stairs go down and then to the side. He couldn't see anything, but he could see But he the, knew where the tunnel and where to go down and to the side. And he also knows that there are animals down there. Now, the first thing that you don't want are there to be animals inside of anywhere that you're going into, especially ones that live underneath the water like that. So yeah. I want to know what animals he's seeing <laughs> underneath here. There's like the there's like Chernobyl uh, abandoned sharks inside of there, radioactive sharks, or or you know what? There's probably Mutant. just three eyed fish. It's just yeah. three eyed fish. It's just a three eyed <laughs> fish from Springfield. That's what that's what's down there right now. So, do you have anything to say about these guys? Would you do this? Absolutely not. And you know 100% that I would not. I mean, like, I'd stand there on the staircase and watch somebody else do it, but there's no way that you're catching me in this water regardless. Like, I would be completely pissed off if my sneakers got wet from this water. Yeah. I would, well, I would definitely be throwing my sneakers away as soon as I got to a place that I did not need to be having sneakers on, on me, you know? So un unbelievable. I, I would feel so... <laughs> grossed out and worried about having that on me and having to walk around for an amount of time more than one second with that on me so yeah i, I mean I these guys man they get do it for yeah, my him seuss um, clearly does crazy shit because he does not give a fuck yeah he does, it. He does not give a fuck at all there are so many things on this rector apart from the boat carefully Take the camera. Commotion is going well. <laughs> Regular air pump. That's it. Pump the ear. Keep pumping. Hey. What happened? It looked like Has it water was got like in your going helmet? into his mouth. Don't tilt your yeah. head forward. The oh. water will not enter. Tilt your head back oh. so that the water flows out. Yes, and then deeper under the water. Imagine Lower it down. No. Got it underwater. <laughs> deeper, deeper. All right. You should go under Lift with it the above camera. Water, shake it a little, and then again under camera the water. Under Lift it above water, shake it, and put it under Why the water Why is he again. doing that? Well, look at He's this, guys. He's trying to make it more cloudy. We can't see it at all. There you go. Imagine it like explodes. There's only like gasoline in the water. There's Raise no radiation the water. There's just gasoline in the whole thing. This is insane. <laughs> it was a fire show. Hope we won't get burned here. Let's do it again. Hold it. It's, it's literally not even like about the dust at that point that I was talking about. It's not about the water at that point. It's these guys sitting in a smoky <laughs> stairwell right now. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, that is crazy. These guys have. They're nuts. Contaminants inside of them right now. They ha literally have 
they've inhaled a shit ton of shitty smoke, a shit ton of shit dust. <laughs> this guy's swimming around. Water. Everybody's putting their hands inside of it. This guy's drinking it. I, I guarantee this guy got water inside of his mouth. There's no way it was up in here in his mask. And he did not get anything inside of his mouth. If I put inside of me, I swear to God, I would die on the fucking spot. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> guys are, I mean, you know, Russians, they say they're built differently. You know what I mean? But this yeah. is completely on some different level shit right here. I cannot believe. Like, they're just chilling and laughing about just that. They're probably yeah. all getting totally fucked up from that fucking smoke inhalation right now. It's crazy. Unbelievable. What do you got to say? No, I mean, I, I don't even know why they're even taking the thing out. <laughs> like, I don't know why they're using. Why what they do you call, it yeah. What do you call that? I, I can't think. Yeah. It's like a road a flare. Flare. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't yeah. even understand why he started well, taking well, those out and well, shooting them in the water. He didn't take it out of the water as if he just threw it straight down. And oh, like, yeah. Stairwell and saw how far they can get the thing yeah. to float down and get some cool shots and least down there with the drop the GoPro down there with the thing flashing down the stairwell or something like that in the water. Not that I would not yeah. want, I would not want to be sitting in that stairwell like that right now. No, Unbelievable. They're just making this more and more not desirable for me to go exploring with these guys. They're going to pull these kind of shenanigans under the water. Look at it floats underwater. It's looking like a volcanic lava. Your Roman candle. There is a lot of smoke. Who? Oh. Yeah, it's a hell of a smoke. So let's yeah. get out of there quickly. It was insane, but spectacular. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're going. So go back to this right here. So there it is. Unbelievable. What'd you think about that? It is pretty unbelievable. These guys are. Uh, they're fun to watch. I'll give yeah. them that. They, they're, I don't want to say stupid, maybe uneducated, maybe just crazy. I would like to, I'm going to give them crazy because I like crazy people. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not against these guys at all. I might have said some things that they don't agree with in, in some ways, but I think they're completely cool people. I enjoy what they're doing. I enjoy what they're putting down on film. I, I you know, I don't think they're vandalizing anything because this place is a piece of shit. So they're really just doing it for everybody's entertainment and putting their lives on the line or, or body's health, whatever it is on the line to go ahead and do this stuff. And they're completely insane. And I love them. How yeah. No, I, I think they're definitely like entertaining because obviously they're doing things that a lot of people just wouldn't do. Um, I'm still a little skeptical to think that they're at a Chernobyl building. I'll have to like look into this when we, when we're finished to see, but um, no, I mean, it was a fun explorer. I just, they're wild. They're wild. <laughs> I guess uh, this video probably could have been shot anywhere. Right. So that first yeah. build, it could have been any power plant. We've seen power plants that look like that. We've seen buildings that look like that inside and out. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't, you know, put it past anyone to stage a video and say that it's Chernobyl. Their original video has a lot of views on it. So it would have worked for them if that was the case, if they're yeah. at Chernobyl, because we did see them outside of the zone there, but they could have easily went there at a certain point in time, filmed something for it and said yeah. that they're inside of it. But they were camping out inside of there. They did get kicked out of there. So at that point, I'm going to say that they are crazy enough to do this in any building. And they've also gone to Chernobyl at that point. I will, I will give them the fact that they were doing it in Chernobyl. And until we can prove otherwise, What's they are the <laughs> divers mm -hmm. and urban explorers over there at Chernobyl. Because I haven't seen anybody do anything like that. And we're going to get into a lot more of their videos. Because there's actually two or three more videos that they have uh -oh. of this place that I have yet to get into. And we're going to watch those, but they have a whole catalog well, of videos. I would not put that past them that every single one of them is a more and more ridiculous scenario that they're getting themselves into, which is very enjoyable. I was just going to say, well, if there's more of these, then I hope they come better prepared and yeah. actually go further down into the water because he just was like hanging out in the stairwell at this point. Well, they have like, to invest was... more and more money into every yeah. single dive exploration that they go to. So hopefully the next time they go, they have some more professional equipment yeah. and they do go deeper down. I would like to see them go down into the yeah. next stairwell. 
I would like to see them accomplish that. That's like a little feat right there that we want them to accomplish is to just go down to the next level and let us know what bugs and things are down there. That's that's all I need. <laughs> and the, what, the animals. Mutants and animals are down there. <laughs> and, and and that's what we'll find out. So we're gonna we're gonna continue with Super Seuss okay. and see if they ever get to the bottom of this flooded stairwell. So I'm excited. Stay tuned, guys. Yep. Peace. Peace.